ladies and gentlemen, with us we have one of the monsters of podcasting. Please welcome Adam Lissagor. Adam. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So you work on a show called You Look Nice Today. How did, how did that whole thing come together? That's a podcast that I do, and ostensibly a pot comedy podcast that I do. Um, That's seriously going to come off. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Adam from You Look Nice Today. It's time for another live episode of our show. You Look Nice Today, a journal of emotional hygiene. You Look Nice Today look started nice because uh, my, my buddies Merlin Mann and Scott Simpson and, and I met each other on Twitter, um, right. Kraken Wise on Twitter, and uh, decided we should do like a little fun creative project outside of Twitter. They live in the Bay Area and I live here in LA. Right. And it just turned out to be a lot of fun, and a lot of people started listening to it. We just like each other a lot. So that's why one of those completely satisfying creative partnerships. And now you do it live. Yeah, which is an entirely different thing, yeah. as you know. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is the dynamic strange for people who don't really spend a whole lot of time physically together? On, on stage and physically together? Yeah, yeah. it is. It's very weird. It took, us some, it took some getting used to. Right. And I don't know, how long did it take you to get your bearings on, on stage? Oh, God. I'm not, I don't have them yet. No, you, you certainly do. No, I don't. Shut your mouth. I don't. Shut it. I don't. I won't. I, hate I you. don't. <laughs> Seriously. God, this got really violent and edgy <laughs> really quick. You seem like such a gentleman. Stop it <laughs> with the bar. Let's just compliment each other for like 10 more minutes. Can we? Yeah. What um, do you think of my shirt? I know it's a great shirt. It's a great shirt. I like your tie. Thank you very much. It's a mm. great shirt. And good frames. Yeah. Those are very important. Put them on. Okay. Put them on, do it. See the perfect frames. These are the perfect frames yeah. for an Adam Lissigo, don't you think? I can't Compliment see anything because I'm double lensing right now, but you know who else has these same frames is uh, RuPaul. Does he really? Yeah. Uh, also, the Ira Glass has similar kind similar of glasses. Similar frames, yeah. Yeah. The chunky black. Can't go wrong with a chunky black. <laughs> no, it's right. <laughs> Once you go chunky black. Wait, what? Yeah, let's just move right on. Okay. Uh, it, 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 takes, it takes forever. It takes a really long time to kind of get your feet under you on stage. Oh, but, but, but the first time you do it right and it feels so good, it took probably six or seven times before it felt just like it, it just sung. And then when we got off stage, we were all a little bit hammered from drinking, uh, a, you know, a little bit on stage. Right. And I just kind of like... Okay, honestly, I just cried. I cried a little bit because it just felt so good. Yeah, it does you know? feel great. Have you ever it? cried after you oh, got off stage? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. For sure. All right. I'm not Cry afraid club. to say it. Cry club. Let, and let's just keep holding hands through the entire <laughs> rest of the interview. Uh, no, really, let go. Uh, I, you know, I do. I mean, it's, it's truly, it's an emotional thing. It's like when, once you've conquered it, especially because for me, it really is a fear. Like, I, I feel terrible before I get on stage, every time I get on stage. Right. And when it goes really well, like, there's, when you've conquered a fear, that is, that's an emotional moment. Yeah, it really is. It truly is. What advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out a podcast? Because now, like you say, it's oh. everybody and their two friends sitting in a room talking about pop totally. culture. Totally, yeah. How, what do you do to stand out? Differentiate yourself, like, right away. Like, establish a voice. I mean, it's going to take a while, granted. That's number one. No, that's number two. Number two. Number one, don't be afraid to burn a couple before you, before you know. Like, I think that's the common mis mistake that I, that I saw. Like, making the mistake of doing a bad one and then thinking that's just like, that's, oh, no, I suck at this. Right. Giving up. You know, because, like, my show, we, I, I, we burned three before we put one out. Right. Just establishing the rhythm and figuring out what was funny. And mm -hmm. Step number two is please... Please find a voice that's unique because otherwise everything else sounds the same and exactly. it's all kind of boring. Okay, uh, on the on the Twitter tip, why lonely sandwich? Some people have asked me if it means like if it's sort of an anthropomorphized sandwich or something. It's like a sandwich that's sitting by itself. It's not like a little cartoon sandwich that's that's lonely. It's it's more just the idea of somebody eating a sandwich by them while sitting by themselves right. on a park bench or whatever. Right, it has always struck an emotional chord with me. Yeah, just like a sort of a sentimental it could be good it could be bad you don't know why they're by themselves but they're sitting there eating their sandwich and yeah. I, like it always meant a lot to me yeah when i see that yeah so but you a, you have now uh, since then uh, eaten alone right like you have had sure. a sandwich by yourself on a park bench i would imagine somewhere. constantly it's great right yeah it's like pretty, sometimes yeah, you just sure. want to shut the world out and eat your goddamn sandwich <laughs> that's right you know do you ever do the thing where you shield yourself from view so you can eat your sandwich oh, yeah. like with like oh yeah Constantly, right? Yeah, like my, my freshman year, I was so like I always wanted to have people around me, and I would see like you know other kids or older kids or whatever eating alone. And I was like, what they do wrong? And by the time my senior year came around, I was like, I, no, no, I don't want to sit at your table. Right. I, I want, I want to have a lonely sandwich. <laughs> Adam Lissagor, it's been a pleasure. Adam Lissagor, so ladies and Thanks. gentlemen. <laughs> Adam Lissagor. All right.
Coming up tomorrow, one of my favorite comics of all time, Jimmy Pardo. And later in the week, music from Jim Hamps. We'll see you then. Yeah.